It's your boy Pizzle. Before I get to this video, I'm going to tell you a story. When little baby doll was born, when the little baby doll had popped out a baby doll, shocking Pizzle's mind in so many different ways, the nurse went to go clean her off and was going to wrap her in just some standard white towel. And I told her, I said, no. You ain't going to do that to my baby. I want my baby to be wrapped in this New York Giants towel. Because from the moment that little queen was born, she was going to be rocking big blue so that nobody, nobody could ever tell her that she won Big Blue from the moment that she came out of the womb. Something romantic about that, isn't it? You know what else what I find romantic? I find Dave Gettleman romantic. Oh, yes, I do. See, a lot of this is going to be a little too deep for some of you. It's going to go right over your head. You're probably not mature enough to accept it. But I'm going to say it, and some of you will get it. I find Dave Gentleman to be the rom most romantic male on the face of this earth. I mean, let's face it. The man has got great fruits for nuts. I'm talking nuts the size of fucking Texas. You see, Dave Gentleman did things in the offseason that you, most of you, were afraid to do. You trade OBJ... You let Landon Collins walk. You trade, trade Olivier Vernon. If those guys go out and be successful somewhere else, it makes you look bad. That's called being a gambler. That's called taking a risk. That's called putting your nuts on the damn table. I find that to be romantic. I got to be honest with you. Pizzle said some things last year that didn't come true. In a lot of ways, it might have it might have hurt some of my credibility this year. That's fine. I can accept that. But in a lot of ways, the previous regime before Dave Gettleman lied to me. They lied to me about OBJ. They lied to me about Eric Flowers. They lied to me about Olivier Vernon. They lied to me about a lot of things. They lied to me about McAdoo. They lied to me. They told me these guys were going to get the job done. They lied to me. So when I came out here and believed their lies. Made Pizzle look stupid. I don't like looking stupid. But that's okay. Dust myself off. Get back on the horse. Because that's what you do. I look at this team this year, and I look at Dave Gettleman. Dave Gettleman is no different than Daniel Jones. He is the man in the arena that everybody is booing. He is the man that everybody is saying he can't get the job done. A lot of you can't handle that type of pressure. A lot of you would hear the boos and start giving the crowd what they want. Well, what they want doesn't always work. What the majority want doesn't always work. I find something romantic about a guy that's going to go out there and do it his way. Like Frankie said, I'm going to do it my way. I find something romantic about that. I'm pulling for Dave Gettleman. Not because I'm a Giants fan. Not because I've been repping these colors since the, days I, since the day I was shitting green. I find something romantic about it. About a guy that's willing to take a chance. I would like to see guys like that win. I like to see guys that's willing to put it all on the, put it all on the table. The guy at the roulette wheel. 
that picked the numbers he wanted to pick. Put the scheme out there that he wanted. A bunch of people standing back. They ain't got no say in the game. They just telling him, why'd you pick that number, Dave? And that ball's just spinning. And it's spinning. And it's spinning. And they all tell him, you picked the wrong shit, Dave. You picked the wrong shit. And it's spinning. And it's spinning. And when that ball stops, we're going to find out if old Grapefruits was right about a lot of things. We're going to find out if he was right about this coach. We're going to find out if he was right about Daniel Jones. We're going to find out if these draft picks are going to pan out. We're going to find out if the OBJ trade was, was good or not. We're going to find out. I pull for the gambler. And that's what I think Dave is. I pull for him to win this bet. I do. Because he's went against everything. What people wanted. He's went out on the ledge. And if he get, and if it doesn't work and he gets fired, he said he, he can at least say he did it his way. Not blame somebody else. Not point the finger. I believe in Dave Gettleman. I admire guys like Dave Gettleman. Dave Gettleman is New York Giants royalty. Eli Manning is New York Giants royalty. And as much as I'm ready to see the new kid on the block go out there and spin it, there's a piece of my heart that wants to see Eli ride that train just one more time. Take me back, baby. Take me back to the good old days, Eli. Take me back to the good old days, Davy G. Take me back. Hopefully, I'll find something romantic about this season. And remember, I told that nurse, you ain't putting that white towel, that plain white towel, on little baby doll. I want her to be wrapped around a champion because she's going to be a champion for the rest of her life. Can you dig it?